what are some of the barriers that communities members face uh, towards improving their situations, not only in terms of water, but kind of in general for someone who's never been to South Sudan? Oh, it, well, it, it's the newest country in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I say is it needs absolutely everything. Uh, you know, there's just, there's a lack of schools, there's a lack of roads. It's, the country's about the size of Texas okay. and they have, I think, a little more than a hundred miles of paved roads. It's just, um, it's kind of shocking, but, um, we can't fix everything at once. You know, as Salva likes to say, he says, you know, my country is like a small child. You know, it's, it's already, it's uh, 10 years, going on 10 years old now. So, um, you know, you only, you can do what you can do. You know, it's, it's first step, you know, you need to take first steps in any journey. So putting a, putting a well down is a first step. Getting some education to children would be another step. You know, these kids are likely not going to college. They might not even go to high school. But if they could finish primary school, you know, and be literate, um, that would be huge. Um, early child marriage is, is another issue, you know, it becomes an economic issue for families. Um, uh, lack of education, especially for girls, you know, um, so not only are there very few schools, but if a village does not have a well, it's usually the girls and women who are tasked with walking for water. And that is, especially for the girls, their whole life. So there is no opportunity to go to school. So it, you know, just getting water really opens up everything.